This video is sponsored by Masca Products. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today, we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Masca M1 and M2 pocket hole jig system. This is probably the most solid feeling pocket hole jig system I've used to date. Y'all know I be the pocket hole king around here. You can go to pocketholeking.com. I go check it out. So we'll actually be doing a giveaway with this uh, to launch this partnership that we're excited to join Masca with. And so if you wanna stick around, I'll tell you how you can win these pocket hole jigs. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already, click the bell icon next to it so you get notified of all the new content we've got coming. So I think we should start unboxing the M1, give it a quick review, and then we'll go to the M2, which is their top of the line. We'll unbox and review that. So this is the M1 and this is the M1 bundle. The difference in the M1 and the M2 is that the M2 actually has these stop blocks and material supports that go out to the sides. Set of instructions. Inside this, they give you a few screws. So that's nice that you get just to start with. Even though it's not the bundle, you still get a variety of size of screws. Looks like 10 in each package, 50 total of the screws, included drill bit in a nice protective case so that it doesn't get broke in transport. That's good. Driver bits, stop collars. Ooh, heavy. Nice, heavy construction there. I like, it feels solid, folks. Ooh, shiny. I like that color, too. Isn't that color sharp? Yeah. That's all right. You're probably going to want to come closer and see this. So this is the Masca M1 and everything that goes with it. What are you doing looking at the instructions? So if you have a workbench, one of the first things that kind of caught my eye about the Masca, other than the fact that it's an all aluminum construction, there's no cheap plastic on here, it's not flimsy, it's not jinky, everything is nice and solid, which I really appreciate. But one of the first things I did notice was, even though I don't have any T-Tracks, there's a T-Track slot in here under the bottom that you can actually use it to secure to your workbench using the T-Tracks. I like that the clamp mechanism is lever action. There's no springs, there's nothing jinky in there. Uh, it's easily adjustable. One thing that actually caught my eye, the thickness scale. So you're just gonna put that against there and it's gonna tell you right there that that is three quarters of an inch. So you know that that's what you're gonna need to set your bit at. It has a little hole for your bit guide to go in there. We're looking for three quarter. So on the back side, we just set this to the three quarter inch and you international people will love the fact that it has millimeters over here and us uh, Americans will appreciate the fact that it has uh, inches over here. So it, it's a good dual, dual country, dual. I think this is internationally accepted. So we got it locked down at three quarters of an inch. So now we just got to adjust this clamp. It spins out of there really easy. Really easy to set into whatever tension you want. It's solid. When it locks in, it's really solid. Like, you know it's not going anywhere. We could do this all day. It has a dust collection port. We'll hook that up in a second. But just starting out drilling our first pocket hole. Pocket hole time. That's right in the side of the board. You see it didn't pop through, so the depth is set correctly. Let's do it this way. This is typically how you would make a pocket hole in the edge or the end of the board. One thing I do want to mention is the fact that you can actually mount this to a board. So if you want to order to your workbench, actually if you just wanted to keep it stationary, there's four places for screw holes. They have uh, countersunk uh, places so that the screw head will be flush. They actually include the screws to mount it with. So that is, that's thinking ahead. The other jigs sometimes will have a limitation on how big of a stock you can use, inch and a half to two inches max. This, uh, you can use up to two inches. However, this comes out. Two before. So now this thing comes unassembled. So if you've got, if you need to take this portable, you can just take it off of this piece with those four Allen screws with the included Allen wrench. This is now a portable jig that you can use on, say, a four before. This makes it a good portable jig. This metal piece actually has a lip on the bottom so that you can, you know where to stop it at so you don't drill your holes too deep. When you lock these down, it is solid. I've, I've got them, you know, finger tight. And <coughs> I'm literally putting everything I got into it. It will not move. 
it won't move. So they lock down. You're not gonna worry about that slipping on you, which is fantastic. So these are T-Track type screws. Uh, if you can see that, these square head screws. So that this will slip back down in there the same way uh, as any T-Track would work. Easy peasy lemon squeezy right there. I like my, my pocket hole jigs to have work supports to each side. So the M2 is the one that actually caught my eye first. And the M2 bundle is gonna come with the face clamp and the extra screws. The M2 by itself is just the jig. And then of course you get your drill bit, you get your driver bit and you get a few screws, 50 screws. But in this one, you get more screws and that face clamp. So this one's $114, $114 just for this. This one's $129 for this jig plus the face clamp plus the extra screws. I'm going with the $129 version if I'm buying this because uh, all the extras you get. And we'll unbox the bundle on this one. Now just a reminder, if you're interested, there's links in the description below to all of these uh, jigs. Now with the M2, you're gonna get the edge supports. This is the bundle, so you get the screws. There's 200 of them, uh, looks like, uh, coarse thread and then there's some fine thread right there. Probably better if I just turn it over you can see the whole thing there. So your fine threads are what is used for hardwoods and then these coarse threads is what you would use on plywood or softwoods like spruce, pine, things like that. That's the M1 right beside it. M1, M2. There's no difference in the two. None. The difference in the M1 and M2 are the work supports. So you get this nice face clamp with the bundle. Those things are, are invaluable, I'm telling you. You get your driver bit, all of your wrenches you need, depth set gauge, fresh drill bit, and then some screws. So the M2 has these screws right here. And what these do, you'll back those screws off and then you'll slip these stabilizing bars down in there. And then you'll just tighten these back down. And what that does, that just locks these in place so that they're not moving. Check, check, check it out. That's actually a really neat design. I, I like that design. Check that out. So you can actually flip these around. You can use them on either side. So if you wanted to do it this way, you can re remove this thumb screw here and put it on the other side. Now your work support's not gonna move. You can do it that way. So you can see you can use it as this, as a work support. So if you're drilling pocket holes and you've got a longer board on there, this will support the end because if you don't have this, what typically happens is you wind up having a little gap right here and then you end up with a gap and then your pocket hole is off a little bit. So this work support's nice. And then if you're trying to drill consistent holes, that stop block right there works really well because now you've got an adjustable stop block and you can run it up there and stop it. And then you can drill consistent holes every single time. So out of the M1 and the M2, I prefer the M2 because I like those side wings or the work supports. It's all metal. That's what I like about it. It's all metal construction. The only plastic thing on here are rubber, the rubber coated handle here so that you don't hurt your hand. There's a rubber coated or a plastic, like a plastic piece on the, the plunger part of the clamp so that it doesn't mess up your work piece. That's it. The dust collection is plastic. When you tighten these down, I like the fact that these have that knurling in there. It's like a barbell knurl. If you use barbells before, when that grip feel you feel on them, that's called knurling. They have knurling around these uh, knobs. It's the same thing with the work support or a stop block, depending on which way you have it. Once you tighten this down, you're gonna be hard pressed to move it. Let's see that one, that one locked down. But this one is, I can't move it. And so it's locked in there. So if you got a stop block set, it's not gonna be moving on you. There's nothing to flex. These bars here that lock in with that set screw back there, they don't flex much at all. I mean, you have to really put pressure on them to make them flex. For the money, I think the M2 is the best bang for the buck. If you need a face clamp and some extra screws, then the bundle obviously would be for you. It's only, what, $15 more for the bundle if you're going for the M2 bundle. So why not? You'll have an extra face clamp. Most of the time these face clamps are 20 to $30, depending on where you buy them from and who makes them. So let's mount this M2 to the board. So we'll try out this dust collection. One thing real quick I wanna show you is uh, this, even though it's on the board, you can still maneuver these. So let's see if this dust collection or how well the dust collection works. So obviously I need an adapter 
to, to get to that smaller size, but it still should, should pull it out of there. So once I created a tight seal with my hand, as tight as I could get with my hand on the dust collection, it pulled 99% of that dust up through the shop back. You'll need to get an adapter. Uh, I'll try to link one in the description below so you'll have uh, an idea of what you need. Is this a perfect pocket old jig? No, it's not. Are any of them perfect? No, they're not. I've got two concerns with this jig. One being the, the depth stop set on the drill bit itself. It works perfectly fine. I just worry that I'm gonna lose this little tiny little plastic piece. Uh, the one thing that I, I will do is drop it in that drawer so that it's there and I know where it's at. The only other thing I wish was a little bit different was this mechanism here. It, it, it's basically a push clamp. The only thing I would change is if they found out some type of way to make this auto adjust. So why should you buy a Masca product? That's up to you. But the reason I went with Masca to partner with was because they're, they're mission oriented in their community. They're a small family owned business and they make solid products. It's a solid jig. It is solid, it's not flimsy, it's not jinky. Not only that, they offer a lifetime guarantee on all their products. If it breaks, they're gonna replace it. You don't have anything to worry about there. They stand behind their products. I like that. So what rating do I give the Masca pocket hole jig? Hey, it's not really a hard decision. These things are really solid, and you know that I've been using pocket old jigs for years now. Uh, that's why they call me the pocket old king. It's just how it is, man. You do it long enough, they'll call you something. I give these, because they could make some minor adjustments, we'll give them a 4.5 fist bump bow, bow, out of five. They could use some tiny improvements here and there, but as far as solid, they back their products with a lifetime guarantee. So how do you win the jigs? I'm gonna keep the M2 bundle. We'll give away the M1, the M1 bundle, and the M2. So that's three prize packs, three from Masca. Let's do it through Gleam.io. Hey, you click the link in the description below, you go enter the giveaway, and then we'll announce the giveaways live. April 6th, 7.31 p.m. on Live Edge, our live show here on YouTube. It's every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. Three people to win three different Masca pocket OGs. So good luck to you guys that entered. If you like this video, click that box right there. It's gonna take you to the next set of videos. Clicking that box is the best way you can support this channel. If you click that box, you get that big old virtual fist bump. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this valuable.